This video is part of the Herb Embroidery Stitch Along series by Crazy Crafts. Other video tutorials are available in the series. Thanks for watching and happy stitching! Here is how to transfer a design to fabric. Here's my Herb Embroidery Doodle printed out. Some tips are first to sticky tape it to the surface so it doesn't wiggle about. Then I'm using white linen, which is quite see-through, so you could see that it'll be quite easy to trace. And again, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to very lightly tape the fabric down so it does not wiggle about. Make sure it's nice and smooth and the design is where you want it. Now there are a number of different tools you can use to trace the design. Something like a fabric pencil. It's not very sharp. There are water soluble embroidery fabric transfer pens. I tend not to use those because sometimes they don't always rinse out as easily as you would hope. I tend to use what's closest and what's most convenient. So pencils or pens. I know that's probably not the way it should be done, but I've never had a problem with it. As long as you draw a line that you can cover up with thread so no one will ever see it, then no one needs to know what you've used. I do have a number of different types of embroidery pens, but they all go missing or they're all tucked away in the craft room. And when I want to get started stitching, I want to get started stitching. So it's a very fine point pencil you could use, and you simply trace lightly. You just want to have an idea of what you're doing and where you're going. Oftentimes for a design such as this, that is just a bunch of wild flowers, I don't always even trace. I just start stitching directly on the fabric because I'm going to change it as I go. Another great tool that I love is a very fine point black pen. Very fine point. Because that shows up very dark, but very clearly. And I'm able to cover up all of these markings quite easily with my thread. But I am able to see it very clearly. And I just got this from an art supply shop. Good office supply shop should have them. But again, it is permanent, so if you're going to do this, you have to make sure you're able to cover it up. Now, I'll go on and continue tracing all of the flowers there. Another method is to tape the tape all of this to a window so the light shines through and you're able to see more clearly. That would work better if you have a natural colored linen or something darker because obviously I can't see through that well enough. I can't see through that well enough to trace it. So that's when if you tape it to a window you'll be able to get the light through. If you enjoy embroidering and you know you're going to do more, you might want to invest in a light box. This is my light tracer light box. I got it on Amazon years ago. It wasn't terribly expensive, but because I knew I was going to do a lot of embroidery, I thought it was worth investing in. So you tape the embroidery, you tape the pattern to the box. And again, I usually tape the fabric as well just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then you can see the pattern has shown up just enough that I could take my pen and trace.
just crudely, but then when you turn the light off, there's your design. Very clear, very bright and sharp. So I'll continue to do that with the light box as well. Of course, you can also get iron-on transfers, which are handy and easy to use. Or like I said before, I just doodle onto it. I might decide that here I want to have two things of lavender. <gasps> Breaking all the rules. So I just draw on it myself. It's just lines. I'm gonna bend that one a little bit. There. So experiment with different types of tracing and transferring and see what you like best and do let me know how you get on.